Good morning, you two pipe smokers. It's a beautiful Sunday morning here in the land of enchantment. Southwest Piper coming to you from the garage. Uh, I haven't done a video in what feels like forever. Where's my coffee at? Where's my damn coffee? Um, I think it's only been maybe about two weeks since my last video. I've been under the weather to say the least. I, uh, came down with a <clears throat> head cold a couple days before Christmas and it just kind of progressed into this, I don't know, I think it was, uh, some sort of a bout with rhinitis or a sinus infection. Both things I'm very much familiar with. Um, I don't know if you can tell from the video. My nose makes a little bit of a permanent left-hand turn. And that's from just years of breaking it. But I miss you guys. Miss you guys a lot. Uh, been trying to get back into catching up on the videos. I was able to jump into a couple live streams over the last 36 hours or so. Uh, one with Garbage Man Mel, Pi uh, Mel, the Garbage Man, Garbage Man Piper, Mel Harris. <laughs> gotcha there, Mel. Uh, I was also able to jump on to Matches 860. Matches. Everyone knows matches. I, was ju I jumped onto his Friday night live. I'd like to try to carve out some time to do a couple of those here and there. Those seem kind of fun. Um, <clears throat> what am I smoking? I'm smoking a little bit of Dunhill Flake in this. Sorry, it's a little slobbing all over my stuff. Uh some Dunhill Flake that was gifted to me by Ben the Old Soul uh, and um, smoking it in this basket briar that I picked up at my local brick and mortar just because I need a couple more pipes in my rotation and until I figure out what what money I want to spend on some other pipes I just need a couple of basket basket pipes to throw in the rotation so i uh, got a couple things I want to share with you guys before we progress too much further. And uh, <clears throat> how you all doing? That was my wife. We've had a difficult... 12 hours or so um, the soon to be three year old decided not to go to bed till around 11 last night I'll be in in a minute buddy family and then the two year or the uh, the two month old has what we all have been circulating which is this nasty head cold so he's having trouble sleeping so it's it's been a difficult 12 hours or so 16 hours 18 hours whatever um okay here's what i wanted to share with you guys um i'm gonna do a little bit of first impression to get started about this dunhill flake uh it came to me from ben um, not in a jar. I jarred it up, but it came to me in sort of a broken flake. Um, I don't know what it looks like inside the packaging, but doesn't bother me none. If you've watched any of my other videos, 
Uh, I've said that I've never tried Dunhill, anything by Dunhill. And uh, Ben was kind enough in a, in, a, in a package. Whoa, lost my monitor. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Uh, ben was kind enough to send me <clears throat> a bunch of different stuff to try. And, some of, and one of the things he sent me was that, that Dunhill flake. So let's give you a little bit of a first impression. Oh, sorry, I had to dip away for a second there to wipe the snot off my face. God, hate being sick. Um, and while I'm doing that, I'm just going to change a setting on my computer real quick, just so it doesn't I'll lose my screen again. All right, that should be good. Um, okay, so. Um, yeah, first impression, Dunhill Flake, sorry, gosh. Um, when I smell this tobacco, it's probably, of the flakes that I have experience with, it's probably the one that uh, most smells like a, a really hay, grassy, uh, fresh cut grass coming through. So I like that a lot. Um, when I smoke it, I lose a little bit of that grassy hay note and it kind of gets replaced with more of a peppery, uh, lemony, um, mulled wine kind of spice, which I really like. Um, it's also, uh, I tend to like, I tend to, to err towards, um, the Virginia flakes that have more of the um, the bready quality to it, that yeasty quality, with also a fair amount of a sweetness from the just the natural sweetness from the tobacco. But I don't pick up that sweetness or really that bready note uh, too much with the Dunhill flake. It's more of just that lemony, peppery kind of spiced wine. Uh, flavor so it's good um, I, I can see why people covet tins and tins and tins of this stuff um, I was talking with Ben after I tried uh, my first bowl of it I think this bowl is just about done um, I, I was telling Ben I was like yeah it's great um, I'm, I'm thankful he sent it Thankful I got a chance to try it. I, I mean, I'm sure if I really, really wanted it, I could go out and pay a premium for it. Not so interested in that. Um, there's plenty of other flakes out there that are readily available um, that I can get my hands on. So, um, yeah, uh, it's good. Uh, glad I got to try it. I don't know. It's not something that I... I'm not shedding any tears over here because I don't have a bunch of Dunhill flake tins in my in my cabinet. Uh, okay, other things I want to get to. I love this little basket, this little basket briar. Sorry, I don't often shoot the videos on my computer, but my phone is not, I don't know what my what the deal is with my phone right now. It's not letting me uh, shoot videos past like eight minutes. It's not a memory issue. It's, I don't know. They updated something about the, 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 the camera and it's just not, um, something's not jiving. Okay. Next thing I want to get to, uh, yesterday I was stopped by my local brick and mortar. I love that place to death. Uh, I am paying full retail when I go there. But as I said in another video, it's really been on my mind to make sure that I am supporting my local brick and mortar. At least once a month I try to go in there and spend a little bit of money. Uh, usually I'll pick up a cob one tin of tobacco something I want to try 
um, or a basket pipe. I'll even sometimes buy like a another pipe in that kind of eighty dollar range. Um, so, which I think like on the online retailers, that's probably an eighty dollar pipe retail is probably um, like a fifty sixty dollar pipe on say like smoking pipe. So, uh, yeah. Um, here's what I picked up. Uh, I think it might not have been the last video or two videos ago. I said that the last time I went to my brick and mortar, I had tried. I picked up a little bit of their one of their blends that I very much enjoy, or I came to enjoy. I didn't think I was going to. Um, it's called uh, it's called Boss's Blend, and it. Um, I mean, it smells. It's an aromatic. It smells like vanilla kind of has that cherry ripe cherry smell to it um, but when you smoke it a lot of that flavor gets subdued and it has a little bit of complexity it's got some uh, kind of like a leathery quality to it it's got uh, a little bit of smokiness um, I don't know exactly what's in here I, I haven't looked on the website and I don't think there's anything like Latakia or, or whatever to make it smoky but I, that's what I pick up and it's complex enough to where it it justifies spending some money at the brick and mortar on this stuff because it's fairly cheap and I can just have like a jar of it ready to go and more often than not before I got sick I actually haven't had a pipe since I got sick uh, I tried a couple days ago to have my first pipe since right before Christmas and it was somewhat enjoyable mostly not enjoyable because I was still pretty nasally and uh, I, uh, I, I, I subconsciously retrohale from time to time, and that's what probably most people, and I was just trying to, like, stuff smoke out of my stuffy nose, and I could just feel it, like, building up here in my forehead, so, yeah, waited a couple more days before I got to another bowl of anything, um, I don't know about you guys, when you're, when I'm sick, and I smoke a bowl of something that I really like, and I'm sick, that the flavor of whatever I'm smoking drastically changes and I don't want anything to do with that tobacco and I didn't want to ruin any of my any of my fondness for some of my tobacco so all right uh, so what all did I pick up at my brick and mortar well as you saw picked up 200 grams of that boss's blend um, I'm in, you know, guys, it's just an aromatic, but, and it's got a, enough of a complexity um, for my palate to, uh, to justify, uh, not justify, I don't need to justify anything. Uh, it, it, it does something for me, and I like smoking it. Uh, I might be interested in sending a little bit of anybody's way if they, uh, if they want to try it, um, you know. It's not any better than 1Q. Uh, might be on the same level of Captain Black. I don't know. Uh, for all I know, it is Captain Black. All right, what else did I pick up? Okay, I picked up this. A tin of Cornell and Deal's Bijou. Uh, this is from the uh, canning that they did, the canning run they did in uh, last year. Uh, in July and um, yeah I'm excited to try this a lot of folks uh, Ben I think it was Justin Justin Larson who I think now is going by tater tater tot tater salad Piper I don't know I love Justin's videos something I want to bring to y'all's attention and I don't know if I'm like uh, stoking the coals or anything I don't know anything about this but there's a few prominent pipe presenters on YouTube whose videos just disappeared um, I'm sure they deleted them it's not like they just the channels this the channels are still there it's just all of the video content is gone I'm not gonna name anybody specifically uh, kind of did in a roundabout way but um, 
yeah, it really bummed me out. I don't know what was going on, and glad to see one of those guys is coming back with some different content. But uh, yeah, but a few people have tried this. Um, I want to say, uh, yeah, Ben definitely has tried this, uh, and I and he liked it. I think uh, Justin Larson tried it. He liked it. Uh, Pipe Professor did a video a while back on this, and he liked it. Pipe Professor actually did a video of this a while ago, I think, where he opened up a pre an older tin and it uh was just filled with mold so and that was the problem with some of the canning of earlier uh runs of that tobacco i believe is just that the people were opening it after it had been sitting in their cellars for i don't know a year six months i don't know and it just filled with uh mold i'm not an experienced piper but I guess that's not something you want to be smoking, is mold. I think that's about all I'm going to get out of that, pot, that pipe. Oh boy. Uh, here's a three-year-old turning into a demon. Okay, here's what I really want to get to. At last check, the community has been so, so incredibly wonderful to me. Even in my absence, I am still collecting subscribers and getting wonderful comments. Guys, I'm going to get to all I downloaded an app that allow me to see co comments as they come so I can comment on them a lot quicker. I really hate how I'm not... I feel like I'm a fairly tech-savvy person. I really don't like the format that YouTube presents to to upload the video, to see the comments, to comment on the comments. So I downloaded an app that allows me to see comments as they are coming. And all I've got to do is just quickly bop, 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 bop. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I can send it off. Um, so I apologize if you've been commenting and I've just been missing it. I, I'm trying to make an adjustment for that. I think I have an adjustment. Um, but at last check, I am just about at, I think, 140, 140, 141 or 142 subscribers for the channel. Whoa. Did not expect that in my wildest dreams. Maybe in my wildest dreams, I did expect that. But also in my wildest dreams, I'm probably riding an alligator uh, in assless chaps uh, while wielding a lightsaber into Armageddon. That's my wildest dream. Um, no, but you guys are amazing. And uh, I wanted, I've been, I've been jawing a lot about how I want to do a giveaway I didn't know when the appropriate time would be and you know what appropriate times when I say the appropriate time is and I say it's now um, so here's what I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be doing a 140 ish subscriber giveaway um, I don't as you guys have seen in my videos I don't have a ton of stuff to give away I'm still kind of in the testing phase of my tobacco acquisition and really um, I've got a birthday coming up here in like about seven, no, no, more than that. Uh, I like two weeks. It's like two weeks. And um, my wife has said that she would like for me to pick some stuff at a tobacco reta retailer to start stocking up my cellar. Uh, I've got about three tobaccos that I could really say I, I need a lot of that in my cellar. So that's what we're going to be focusing on by next purchase. But, uh, like I say, I don't have a lot of stuff to give away. I've, I've got stuff that people have been sending me uh, to try, and I have been trying it and making my decision on what I want to stock up on. But I did come across a few things that I know everybody covets in this community. So um, here's what I want to give away for 140 subscription or subscriber, 140-ish subscriber giveaway. First thing I want to give away. Ooh. It's an unsmoked corn cob. Uh, 
I like this little style. I don't know what this style is. It's naked. Um, I like this little style because uh, this is a good one. I, I have a couple of these because I like to. Uh, and man, I should have looked at it a little closer. It's a little, it's a little wonky, but whatever. It's corn cob. Um, I like to smoke these when I'm out in the yard doing some yard work. Uh, we have backyard chickens, so uh, when I'm dealing with the chickens or going to walk around the neighborhood, corn cobs are nice to bring with you. So, um, yeah. 140 ish giveaway. You're getting a corn cob. I know what you're saying. Southwest Piper, is that all? Well, no. Of course not. But you got to have something to smoke it out of. Here's what I'm going to give away. I'm going to give away a tin of Esoterica Margate. Also going to give away a tin of Esoterica Pembroke. That's what I'm giving away. Um, so one lucky winner is going to get these two tins and this little cob to smoke it out of or whatever. Smoke it out of the pipe you want to smoke it out of. I don't care. Um, so, how can you enter into this giveaway? I'm going to try to make this as complicated but uncomplicated as I possibly can. You're going to need to film a video in response to this video. And here's my idea. First idea is this. You have options here. I'm only going to give you two options because, again, I want to try to make this as uncomplicated but complicated as I can. First option, film a video. If you could smoke a pipe with one person, dead or alive, and they don't have to be a pipe smoker, you just would smoke your pipe in their presence while having a conversation, who would that person be, what pipe would you smoke, and what blend? So that's your first option. Second option. Tell a story of one of the funniest things you've ever experienced. Please go with the first option. Second option is more like a, I don't know, I couldn't really think about it. So that's what you got to do. Film the video, post the link in the comments of this video, and I will start tallying uh, the folks who are entering the contest, uh, the giveaway, as they post the link in the comments. That's important. Film the video. So pick one of the options, film the video, post the link to your video in the comments of my video, and that's how you can enter into my giveaway. Um, I'm going to let this giveaway run for about one week. So let's open up my, I don't have my phone out here, but let me just open up my calendar real quick just to give you guys a, today is, well, at the time of filming this video, it'll probably go up in a couple hours, but at the time of filming this video, it is 7.58 in the morning mountain time here in the States on January 6th, which is a Sunday. I will run this for one week straight. No, 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 no. I'm going to let it run till my birthday because in two weeks on Sunday, January 20th is my birthday and that's when I will stop it. I will likely do a live, uh, a live video of... Um, of that giveaway and maybe we can have a little conversation so um again yeah january 20th will be the deadline to get your entry in uh that also includes so anybody who's currently subscribed to my channel and anybody who gets subscribed in these two week this two week window um they are all eligible so again you're gonna get the 110 of margate the 110 of pembroke and a nice little cob to smoke it out of all right okay guys our video is getting long and I got snot coming down my nose and I'm all out of tobacco in this pipe and I think my coffee's gone cold world's coming to an end um all right guys uh, that's what I got for you I'm glad to be back um, I'm gonna be getting caught up on videos probably throughout the day while I'm watching football today's the day I really want to watch the playoffs yesterday not so much um, I kind of had a feeling the Texans were gonna were gonna wet the bed a little bit, and they did. Um, some nasty, nasty injuries that went around the league. Ugh, yuck! Made my skin crawl. All right, guys. Um, 
get in get get entered into the giveaway you know the, the instructions uh if you have any questions you can um you can leave a comment uh i have an email for this youtube account i can't remember off the top of my head but um anyway all right guys be well have a great sunday it's a little overcast here i think we got some weather blowing in but anyway uh southwest piper signing off